add value to our homes and you might be surprised at how little you have to spend to do it. So we've set ourselves a challenge with this three bedroom home that is up for sale. Joe, Jace and I each have a thousand dollars to spend. The reality is we want to see how much money we can make and the sale price. And even if you're not selling, we're going to show you lots of ways to add value to your place too. Let's go. All right. You're helping me, aren't you, Joe? Nah, negatory. <laughs> James and Helen are the owners of this family home we're about to spruce up. We've had Oliver, we are busting out of our house and we need a little bit of a yard and we want to have room to grow some veggies and for him to run around a bit more. Our real estate agent has valued it at about 630 at the moment. So what have we got to work with? Grand total of three thousand dollars. The smart money goes on the front of the house. Curb appeal is number one, and that's what we're going to tackle first. Now this is an entry level house for this suburb. We're not pretending it's anything other than that. We're not re-landscaping because we just don't have the budget. We're doing little jobs like this. The very first step that you come into the property, there's a loose paver. It's a dollar or two to fix, but it could make the world of difference. So we're gonna concentrate on the front yard, clean the paths up and work on these gardens because you know what they say, first appearances count for everything. <laughs> I've cleaned it as best I can. I'm just going to put it in dry to make sure it sits flush with its neighbours. All good. And now, I'm just going to key it in a little bit, which means take out a couple of dozen little chunks in this existing mortar, so when I glue it, they've got something to bite to. Two blobs of glue is definitely enough. Now, you tap it down, but then just to speed it up, lift it up, let a bit of air get in there, and then tap it down finely. And a couple of tools, positioned nicely. We'll keep everyone off it while it drives. Hope it's ready for some traffic. <laughs> Light traffic. Oh, I better keep working. If you want to make your place look better or make a few dollars when you sell, to me it is all about street appeal. You want to make your home more welcoming. Now at some stage or another, the people who live here have actually added these shutters. So first job on my list, these have to go. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That was easy. These old shutters certainly didn't match the style of the house and with them gone, it's looking better already. Didn't cost me a bean. There are three light fittings along the whole front section of this house, none of which match. This one doesn't even have a cover. So for the sake of $12, you can get a complete new kit. No electrician required. When you're prepping your house for sale, look out for things that have only got a sentimental value. <laughs> I'm sure all this means something to the homeowners, but to a potential buyer, it's not just a zero, it's a negative. Come oh, on, mate, we'll find your home. Joe, I'm binning these pots unless you want them. Oh, no, I can definitely use those. Thank you. you I reckon them. lick a paint on those. I've got a bit of an idea that'll brighten up this entranceway. Nice. That's a great idea. How about we paint them the same colour as the trims? That way they'll all go together. All right. I understand it is then. Oh, OK. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Good colour, isn't it? It's such a great colour. Yeah, what are you going to put in them? So I'm actually going to stack them up and have sort of three layers of flowers and I've chosen flowers that will sort of cascade down oh, as they so grow. Beautiful. Idea. So instant colour. I love that. Who needs Hodgie, hey? <laughs> He's so easily replaceable. <laughs> <laughs> Not happy. <laughs> you heard it first. <laughs> Now for the little bit of effort that we've spent out here and slightly less than $120, I think it's been well worth it. Another little job done, and what did it cost? A couple of bags of sand and a bag of cement. $15. Clean with the pressure hose. 
and sometimes removal is just a better option than repairing. If I gave this little fence a coat of paint, it might look all right, but a potential buyer could come up, lean on it while they're looking at the house, and realise how dodgy it is. So taking it out doesn't cost anything, and it's just going to open up this garden bed. These little sleepers are practical to step on to save you from destroying your veggie patch, but they're laid poorly and they don't look that good. And the compost bins, super practical. We should all have them, just not three metres from the front door when you're trying to sell your joint. Now we can concentrate on this garden bed. Waste not, what not, these guys can join their family around the side of the house. The best thing is, I'm not going to throw any of this out. It is jam-packed full of worms and goodness for the garden. So I'm going to spread it out and our new plants will have the best possible start in life. Now we all need a service area, but it doesn't have to look like this. You want to be noticing the beautiful bush that surrounds it. So I'm going to clear it out, just simply rake it up and make it look a bit better and fix up these stairs. They're showing their age and they're not very safe, but we can give them a good facelift and it won't cost much more. It's an $8 sleeper and the blue metal costs six bucks a bag. So for less than $50, we've really tidied this up. I wouldn't do it at the front door of the house, but for a service area like this, it's perfect. Now we're very, very lucky that the homeowners here, Helen and James, have neighbours who are good enough to let them store all these boxes in. Absolutely, but for you that may not be an option, so you might like to think about self-storage. It doesn't come cheap though. For half a garage size, that's about three square metres, you're looking at around $300 a month. It's pretty pricey. Some things are definitely worth packing away, like this, and others, <laughs> in the case of this lovely pot plant, are worth keeping. With the rooms cleared out, these bright colours are starting to become obvious. So by painting as many rooms as you can in a neutral colour, you not only appeal to potential buyers, but you also make the place look a whole lot bigger. I really do believe that paint is the best way to add value to your home. To do this room, the bathroom, the toilet and the feature wall in the lounge room, it set us back just $200. It's a great value add. Apart from first impressions, the two key areas potential buyers are most interested in are of course the bathroom and the kitchen. This one is in pretty good condition. It is small. What it needs is a declutter and a very good scrub. In particular, stainless steel sinks, they respond so well to a bit of elbow grease, cream cleanser and a scour. Takes care of any tea stains. While you've got the gloves on, do everything top to bottom. Things will not only look cleaner, but they'll smell clean as well. Now, just for a few clever, simple props. I've saved money by hand picking some things from the cupboards and I've also picked up a few bargains from the op shop like this fruit bowl and these vases. The secret is to not overdo it. You don't actually want to make it feel lived in in here. It's a showroom. The dining room in this place is pretty small so we wanted to give it the illusion of more space by downsizing the chairs. We picked up four of these for just $10 each second hand. What do you think of our light fitting? Modern and fresh for just $5. So the inside's progressing, but out the front, Hodgie is still working on that all-important curb appeal, and that means plants. And when it comes to buying your plants on a tight budget, I'll probably ask yeah. you to think the exact opposite to what comes natural. I'm going to spend half my money on the plants, but this lot's going to deliver plenty of bang for its buck. Things like these ferns, you're paying for the size of the pot. So that guy there retails for 20 bucks, but it takes up like a square metre in your garden. If you go and buy little plants in little pots, you need lots more of them to get the same impact. Even presenting the flowers where people are probably going to see them from is a good idea. So they're going to come up the stairs. I'm just slightly leaning them forward. And make sure you get rid of all tags. It's good practice horticulturally, but it's also good that the people don't know that you did it the day before they came. Hey, Jace. Taz. I know you're thrifty. Thank you. Can you give me some of your money? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Did I say I'm something funny? I'm the shirt off my back, but I don't have a cent to spare. I've budgeted everything right down to the mulch. Yeah, there's free plastic pots maybe you've got to do something with them. Jeez, you're generous. I'm a joke. 
She's got nothing either. Dirty grout can be a real turn off, so get a scrubbing brush right in between those tiles. Go over with a bit of bleach, and then once it's dry, over with a grout pen to whiten it all up. Poor old mirror, it has seen better days, but I haven't got the money to replace it. A simple solution is to just glue on some timber to hide the damage. No one will ever know. The right colour towels refresh any bathroom, as do thoughtful little accents. Put away your bathroom clutter, no one wants to see it. There is a pretty nasty crack in the shower screen. We can't afford to replace it, but by hanging towels in front, it just takes your eye away from it. This is an old bathroom, there is no denying it, but with some nice little styling and a clean up, it looks so much more inviting. Now this was three-year-old Oliver's bedroom and a great tip if you're selling your home is to turn any children's bedrooms into adult ones. Why? Well, the potential buyers instantly think the room is bigger than it looks. We're going to turn this bookshelf upright and turn that into adult storage. We're going to swap these bunks for a double bed. We're not even going to buy one, we're going to borrow one off a friend. We don't need to paint in here, it's a nice neutral colour. So whereas before this was filled with books, we picked up these fantastic little storage boxes for $5 each. Talk about minimum spend for maximum impact. We have got six Venetian blinds for all of the windows throughout the house. We've only spent $200. But what a difference it makes. If you do one thing to your house to really give it street appeal, or just to jazz it up slightly, it's mulch. This is like the icing on a cake. It can be a pretty ordinary cake, but if the icing's good, you'll let it pass. And these garden beds, we've planted them. They look a lot better than before, but they're gonna look a lot better when this is down. The mulch going now in this garden bed will really lift everything up. Make these plants pop. The best thing about it, it was $60. Well, the trampoline's gone, we can actually see the backyard. The plants, they look really good. And this is a trick that anyone can do. Gone, gone, gone. The plants can stay. But even the fact that there's ladders here, you don't want a potential buyer to come around and go, oh, there's no storage in this house. So these guys are going as well. And for the pricely sum of $20, I have it, albeit slightly used, outdoor furniture setting. Look, it's not bad. You don't just want to have it bare. You want to make it look inviting. You want people to come out here, sit and enjoy an alfresco lunch. So a runner down the centre, maybe a candle, set it up, place settings, perfect. So in other words, sell on the dream. Sell on the dream, that's what it's all about. My statement piece for here was this standard lamp, only $79, but it really does look good. And as far as budget goes, well, I was all out, nothing for fresh flowers. So out the back with a pair of secateurs, got some leaves and I think they look pretty fab. Now the one thing that is missing is something for the walls, and I've got an idea for that too. If you don't think you've got an artistic bone in your body, this project is for you. All it is, is just scraps of mismatched timber painted up in whatever paint you have sitting around and then stuck down to a backing board using a hot glue gun. Have some laying flat and stand some upright. Gives it more of a 3D quality, adds more texture too. For colourful art for the walls, it doesn't come any easier than this. All I've done, it's so simple really, is just taken some scraps of timber and just glued down some paper, drawn up an ordinary grid using a pencil and a ruler and just using textures, I'm colouring them in. It's a very basic squiggle, nothing fancy. And once you rub out those lines and hang it on the wall, it just makes really great modern geometric art. And I think these will work so well in the bedroom. The thing about art, it can be very personal. For $36 for two pieces, this ticks all the boxes. 
When you're selling a home, don't go for top of the range bed linen. You don't need to. Crisp white sheets always sell a house. These ones cost just $40 and they look a million bucks. And those old shutters we took away from the front door, well they didn't go to waste. Repurposed, they make a fantastic bed head for the spare room. So ultimately the key is to take a look around your home room by room as though you've never been there before. Be the buyer. Take a look at your place through their eyes. Now let's see if we've done what we set out to achieve. Well let's find out what the homeowners Helen and James think. Wow. Wow. To what it was. It's incredible. It looks like a new place. The shutters are gone. Yeah. yeah. It's very, yeah. very modern now. It'll appeal yeah. to lots more people, I think. <laughs> wow. Whose house is this? It's like a different <gasps> house. But you can just see by just minimalising it just how much bigger yeah. it makes his yeah. space look. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. What's a clean? Wow. <laughs> this one's like a new magazine kitchen. It's beautiful. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Terrific. It's good that you two are happy. Well, now it comes yeah. down to what the real estate agent thinks. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> How much value have we added to this house for its sale? Well, who better to ask than the real estate agent that's selling this home, Mark Seymour. G'day, Mark. Hi, Lovely to Joe. see you. How are you going? Good. good now, good. listen, you saw this house before we had a little makeover. I did. What are your thoughts now? The clothesline is gone. <laughs> as a bit of an eyesore, as you, because yeah. that was the very first thing buyers saw. So, yeah. by redirecting that, uh, that has really made a difference. So, simple things that you've done by the, the fresh wood chip and the easy to maintain low maintenance garden. Also, the gurning of paths and the house, tidying it all up, making it nice and clean and presentable. Now, what about the courtyard out the back? Yeah, great. So you've re-turfed that, which is really good. Um, it's only a small area, but it is enough for a little toddler, you know, to run around in, which is good. And also the landscaping also around that, that also makes a huge difference. What um, are your thoughts in here? Oh, it looks really good, Joe. Decluttering all of that obviously makes the, the room look bigger. Well, it is a big room when it, you take all that stuff out. It is. And, and sometimes you've got to show buyers that. We can smell the fresh paint. Yeah. Uh, everyone loves the smell of fresh paint. Mm -hmm. And trying to make the home look like a show home, yeah. people are time poor and what people want is to move in, nothing to do. And will they pay to have that luxury? They will. They will. They, they will pay more for that. This is the moment of truth then. I mean, this is what you do for a living. So tell me... I'm nervous, Joe. <laughs> You're nervous. What about <laughs> us? What was the value of this house before it and what do you think is the value we've added? Yeah, look, the comparable properties were around that $630,000 mark. Okay. But I, I do believe that you've probably added around the $30,000 plus. You're kidding? No. $30,000? That's not bad for a $3,000 spend. Definitely. Well done by everyone and a few quick fixes that you can try for yourself at home. The best thing about it, we've had tens of thousands of dollars and sell it to be quicker when it looks like this. Got to be happy with that. We'll see you next week with more Better Homes and Gardens. Bye bye.